What Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Gamecock Insider. I'm Derek Scott speaking to you from McGuire Coliseum. We've got some basketball on tap on this week's show. As you might imagine, we'll be visiting with Gamecock men's basketball head coach Frank Martin in just a bit, plus lots of other items to get into as well on this week's show. But speaking of men's basketball, they're coming off of a big home win against the Tennessee Volunteers. It snapped a string of five consecutive losses to the Vols, but it was not easily attained. A nail biter at the CLA. Let's take a look at the highlights. It's gotta be for 40 though. Can't be for 37, can't be for 39. It's gotta be for 40. All right, it's gotta be for 40. Yeah. They're not gonna give it to you. You gotta go get it. As a matter of fact, you gotta go take it. All right, 40 minutes. Trust who you've become, brother. Trust who you've become. Yeah. 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 Gamecock, one of the hottest teams of the SEC, winners of seven of the last nine. Another good crowd here in Columbia. They're starting to get excited. If you pull this off, you continue to move up the rankings. Dave brings his dribble to his left. The ball stolen free, gets it back, gives to McCreary. McCreary will race to the rim, and he will rip it off. Gray's off to the race. His numbers aren't there, but he's going to the rim. Either way, he'll lay it up. Stick back good for Wilderson. He was back. He is going to learn. When I hear those footsteps behind me, South Carolina's coming. Kicks it out. Who's north for three? Yes. Good decision by Bowling. Big back because you go three guys. Keep giving it to him. Bowling steps into a three and got it. Side. Oh, yes! Yeah. One point game and a whole lot on the line for Carolina and Tennessee. Oh, ball by three by Thompson. Kuzinar picks it up, gets the mic, and he's fouled on his way. How about the big fella chugging down the floor? 6'11", 270. Double team, feed it to Bulberson, and it's on the top of the floor. Marshawn Bryant steps in and takes the charge. There's probably no one you'd rather have at the free throw line for the Gamecocks in this man right here. Here we go. Free throw. Bangs off the rim. Grabbed by James. The shooter puts it up. It's short. And the Gamecocks win. Wow. Tennessee got what they wanted. But the shot was missed on the follow-up by Josiah James. And South Carolina holds on for a 63-61 thriller. So Carolina picks up their sixth win in seven SEC contests. Gamecocks on a real roll right now. When we come back, we'll visit with head coach Frank Martin and hear more about that role this team is on, so stay with us. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks. And Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. When it comes to your money, how do you relax? I relax because I'm with Founders. Because a credit union is not a bank. Banks make money off of you. Founders focuses on the people, not the profit. That's the member benefit. So while we're planning for college, my future, or my new car, building a home, or building a nest egg, Founders works for the financial success of me. We're members, and that means we have a say. And that's how I relax. Visit RelaxJoinFounders.com for membership details. Every day, you'll find the most innovative orthopedic care in the Midlands at Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. Each of our highly skilled, compassionate physicians specializes in a unique orthopedic condition, caring for people of all ages and stages of life. 
We'll guide every step of your treatment, from diagnosis to recovery, so that you can get back to feeling like yourself as quickly as possible. You win when you choose Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. Here at the Coliseum, joined by head coach Frank Martin. Gamecock men's basketball uh, rolling right along. Coach, they say uh, can't have March Madness if you don't have some February fun. And your team is really playing the right way right now. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, the season uh, is uh, unreal every single year, how unique every year is. Uh, but the one common thread that you, you, as a coach, you aspire for is for your team to keep getting better and play its best basketball at this time of year. And we are playing our best basketball. And uh, uh, we're, we're, we're riding a pretty good wave right mm -hmm. now. And uh, we got to keep the momentum going and stay positive and just take it one day at a time. I know people talk about the bracket. You don't worry about the bubble, the bracket, things of that nature, because it does no good. But what you can worry about is where you stand in your conference, your peers. And this is yet another season where South Carolina is uh, playing with the best of the best in this league. And, and I know that's something you have to take a lot of pride in. Absolutely. I mean, if I was selling advertisements for the website that promotes the bubble, I'd be concerned with the bubble, but I'm not. I'm actually trying to prepare a team to win games, and uh, you only got to worry about that one day out of the whole year, and that's the on Selection Sunday. That's the only day you sit around and you worry. Uh, uh, the rest of the time, it's about preparing, uh, using practice to get better, and, and taking on the challenge of the next game. When you play in a league like ours, where every game is so difficult that if you start worrying about anything but the next game, uh, your team can face uh, a bad week. And a bad week at this time of year uh, does a lot more harm than one good day. There's been a lot of wins where you've been pulling away late. But then there was a game like Tennessee yeah. where you didn't feel great about it going in in terms of where your squad was, but you found a way. And that's something that a team needs on a, a long winning streak. You've got to have a day like that somewhere in there. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's <laughs> like I told the team afterwards, I, I wasn't pleased with how we prepared the day before. Uh, I didn't think we were mentally connected uh, to what we were trying to do. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you, you, you got to take pride in the fact that Tennessee, which is a very good basketball team, mm -hmm. um, that, uh, that we were able uh, to find a way to hang in there and hang in there and hang in there. And then with the game on the line, uh, kind of take the lead for the first time and uh, um, and figure out a way to close it out. So uh, winning's always a lot better than the alternative. Mm -hmm. Losing's uh, not, not a whole lot of fun for anybody. So uh, a lot, really proud of the fact that we were able to figure out a way to win that game, uh, learn from it, move away from it, and uh, on to the next one. On our Terminix Pest Player of the Week, uh, Mike Coatsar, not even so much the week, but for him just right now this entire season has been pretty special but certainly of late he's continued his his quality play at both ends of the court yeah mike's uh, um, uh as a coach you you always uh, hope that your players play with tremendous confidence and uh, uh last year at the end of the year mike struggled with his confidence and uh, uh and to see where he's at right now how aggressive he's being how vocal he is uh, how assertive he is with what he's doing uh, and uh, that tennessee game the end of the game was a perfect example uh, something that he had struggled with in the past, which was his confidence at the foul line. And uh, he goes in there and he goes four for four in the last mm -hmm. 25 seconds of the game to, uh, to help us win and ice, that, to ice the game and, and eventually win it. Uh, uh, so it's, uh, I'm, I'm really, really proud of Mike and, and hope his, his growth continues uh, at the rate it's been going this year. And, and certainly when you see a guy performing like that, uh, it, it makes it uh, all the more special knowing what he's been through to get to that point. But there's other guys who have uh, maybe flown under the radar in their career. I, I want to give a mention to Nathan Nelson. The yeah. young man's a walk-on for your team. But due to injury problems that we'll talk about here in a minute on our injury update, he stepped up out of seemingly nowhere and, and did a lot of little things to help you get that win. Oh, absolutely. He, uh, uh, he, he you know, his number was called and he answered the, the call. and. Uh, went out there and stabilized our team because Tennessee, when he went into the game, Tennessee was in the middle of a run. 
and, and we weren't getting very good play from the big spot other than from Mike Kotsar. Uh, and, and Nathan went in there and battled his tail off and stabilized the game. And uh, uh, he, he gets a lot of credit for, for not just being ready, but going out on the court. And, and if you look at the stat sheet, there's nothing on there that says, wow, he got it done. Let me tell you something. His stability defensively, his willingness to compete at the rim, because Tennessee plays at the rim, uh, his willingness to compete at the rim and, and, and allow our defense uh, to get stops in a, in a critical part of the game uh, had a lot to do with us winning. Finally, our Prisma Health Injury Update. Uh, tell us what the latest is on Jalen McCreary. He took a pretty nasty uh, fall in that Tennessee game on a block shot, a great hustle play. Yeah, no, it's like today's day and age. Uh, uh, anytime you know, when we were younger, you got hit in the head and you saw little <laughs> Snoopy dogs bouncing around up there. They just kind of asked you if you felt okay. If you said yes, you went back in. Now in today's day and age, rightfully so. Um, uh, anytime there's a, uh, anything to do with the head, uh, it's extra precaution and it's the way it should be. Uh, he's a lot better now than he was after the game. Uh, but uh, uh, like it is with head injuries, that takes time, and, uh, um, and everyone heals differently. And uh, so uh, we got our fingers crossed that he'll be back a lot sooner rather than later. Absolutely. Gamecocks headed to the home stretch of this season. Looking forward to seeing how it all comes together as we head for Nashville in the SEC tournament in just a few weeks. For Frank Martin, I'm Derek Scott. More of Gamecock Insider coming up in just a moment. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the court. Winners receive two tickets, pregame court passes, and autograph merchandise. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Court is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Hi, Gamecock fans. This is Coach Dawn Staley. As coach of the Gamecocks, I know the importance of heart health. Heart disease is the number one killer of women. It often shows no symptoms, so it's important to be aware of your risk. I encourage you to take the free Prisma Health Heart Assessment and find out if there's more you could be doing to keep your heart healthy. Go to prismahealth.org slash Gamecocks. Hi, I'm Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week wildwingcafe.com for more information. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. I'm Derek Scott. The South Carolina baseball team has its season underway now. Of course, the opening weekend is always a special time at Founders Park. And this year, South Carolina managed to break out the brooms. A three-game sweep of Holy Cross in spite of some questionable weather that Mother Nature threw at us. Let's take a look at a recap of highlights from those three wins over the Crusaders.
play great baseball. Play hard, play smart, just play great baseball. Have a lot of fun. Every day, you'll find the most innovative orthopedic care in the Midlands at Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. Each of our highly skilled, compassionate physicians specializes in a unique orthopedic condition, caring for people of all ages and stages of life. We'll guide every step of your treatment, from diagnosis to recovery, so that you can get back to feeling like yourself as quickly as possible. You win when you choose Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. When it comes to your money, how do you relax? I relax because I'm with Founders. Because a credit union is not a bank. Banks make money off of you. Founders focuses on the people, not the profit. That's the member benefit. So while we're planning for college, my future, or my new car, building a home, or building a nest egg, Founders works for the financial success of me. We're members. And that means we have a say. And that's how I relax. Visit RelaxJoinFounders.com for membership details. When is the last time you traced your roots, not your family's roots? The roots of the food you eat, those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Unexpected happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Good hard work has earned Megan Davies the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the women's tennis team, Davies is a junior advertising major with a 3.806 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. With six minutes.
that's gone by in the second half. Hannibal out top behind the coach's our screen. Drives left. Cross court skip to Lawson. Open three right side. Oh, yes. Yeah. Great look by Hannibal to get Lawson on the wing. Frank right Martin over. drew it up. The Gamecocks executed. That's your Sandsbury. Did you see that play? A.J. Lawson with a clutch three-pointer. South Carolina came from behind to defeat the Tennessee Volunteers at Colonial Life Arena. Speaking of the CLA, the women's team, number one in the nation. They were there earlier this week for a couple of contests. It started with a battle with the Vanderbilt Commodores. South Carolina looking for a 25-win season and another victory over Vandy. Let's take a look at the highlights. South Carolina in the driver's seat in the conference race, number one in the nation. What makes them a national title contender once again this year? Boy, in the traffic, Boston. South Carolina dominating the first quarter like they have all season. in the half court, they can score in transition. This is how prolific this offense has been for South Carolina this season. Hi, I'm Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks, like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the court. Winners receive two tickets, pregame court passes, and autograph merchandise. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Court is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. When it comes to your money, how do you relax? I relax because I'm with Founders. Because a credit union is not a bank. Banks make money off of you. Founders focuses on the people, not the profit. That's the member benefit. So while we're planning for college, my future, or my new car, building a home, or building a nest egg, Founders works for the financial success of me. We're members, and that means we have a say. And that's how I relax. Visit RelaxJoinFounders.com for membership details. Every day, you'll find the most innovative orthopedic care in the Midlands at Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. Each of our highly skilled, compassionate physicians specializes in a unique orthopedic condition, caring for people of all ages and stages of life. We'll guide every step of your treatment, from diagnosis to recovery, so that you can get back to feeling like yourself as quickly as possible. You win when you choose Palmetto Health USC Orthopedic Center. 
Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. I'm Derek Scott. The South Carolina softball team always likes to test itself during the non-conference, and this year, Bev Smith, the coach of the team, decided to take her team to the Sunshine State, the St. Pete Clearwater Invitational Tournament. Lots of big time competition there, including the number one team in the nation, the Washington Huskies. South Carolina got itself a number of challenges to get them ready for SEC play coming up in a few weeks. I gotta push through the pain before I get back up again. Cause the rains may come. In the right field from Haley Simpson. So Simpson, who had a triple the last time, says I'm gonna slide into third base again. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks. And Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Well, that's going to wrap things up for this week's edition of the Gamecock Insider, everybody. Appreciate Head Coach Frank Martin for joining us on the show and, of course, all of our crew from Gamecock Productions for being on the road to bring you the highlights from Gamecock baseball and softball and men's and women's basketball. Be sure to join us again next week at this same time on the same station. Until then, I'm Derek Scott. Thanks for joining us here on Gamecock Insider. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College. Gamecock Insider is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties.